Today's video is sponsored by Masterop, who have just sent me their famous Sennheiser PC37X gaming headset to show you guys. You can only get these limited edition headphones from Masterop, and they've been created for max audiophile quality while also keeping price in mind. They feature a smart all black design, and I've been using them a lot lately, and honestly they're the most comfortable headphones I've ever tried, and they're from the world-renowned Sennheiser brand. It's going to be very hard to find a more quality headset for a better price than this, so consider checking out the link in the description if you've been looking for a new headset, and know that you'll also be supporting the channel by doing so. Masterop have also just launched a whole new PC gaming community which you may be interested in checking out as well. Here you'll be able to discover, learn about, talk about, see and do more of what you love when it comes to everything PC gaming. And it has all of the battle station essentials from headsets and monitors to keyboards, mice and ergonomic chairs. When the PlayStation 1's Metal Gear Solid was originally released in Japan, creator Hideo Kojima and the rest of his team at Konami didn't just translate the game into other languages and then ship the game to other regions around the world. Instead, the team continued to work on the game and make improvements. Hideo speaks about this in a Japanese interview for the Metal Gear Solid Integral Strategy Guide, which has been translated by Mark Ladle and hosted on the fan site MetalGearSolid.net. To quote, under normal circumstances we would have broken up the team after the game was finished, and everyone would move on to new projects, but with Metal Gear Solid, we also had the European versions to work on after the American version. This was actually an industry first, but what we did was make separate English, French, Italian, German and Spanish PAL versions. We took the 8 hours or so of dialogue and translated that into each language, then hired voice actors for each version and re-edited that back into the game. We also had to fix the timing for the dialogue though, as in certain languages the speech would take more or less time to run through a scene. With all of that to do, we found it hard to get away from the game. Ports like these definitely are a lot of work, but the staff still had more free time during this process than they did while making the original game. So we ended up fixing all parts of the game we didn't like. We weren't happy with just that, so we played around with various new extras to the game as well, like more VR stages. This led to there being various differences between the Japanese and US versions of the game, and then a few more for the later European releases. The US version boasted several new additions, including a new difficulty selection option, with easy, normal and hard being available by default, and then extreme upon completing the game. The Japanese release actually has no difficulty options and is based on the US's easy mode. The inclusion of new difficulties also meant there are now 36 more codenames for completing the game, with 12 for each difficulty. Alongside this, the demo theatre was added as a reward for completing the game, which allows you to watch cutscenes and codec conversations from the game in a manner similar to a movie. And then another bonus for completing the game that was added is Snake's tuxedo costume, which will replace his sneaking suit on subsequent playthroughs. The English releases also made some changes to the already existing content. One of these is to the camera angles during cutscenes, which had various changes in the US release, and then even more for the European versions. For example, when Snake bends down to use the codec during the intro, the Japanese version on the left has a completely different camera movement compared to the US version on the right. It was likely that these changes were the result of Hideo's vision and him feeling that they would work better. Another change was made to the alert modes. When spotted by a guard in the Japanese version, the alert mode would read danger and this was changed overseas to alert. Following getting away, the mode would then switch to escape in Japan and this was changed to evasion in the English release. The English version also changed the names of a few of the items such as the SIGs, which were originally spelt C-I-G-A-R-E-T in Japan. Hideo also decided to update his credit at the start of the game. The now famous A Hideo Kojima game credit actually started beginning with the US version of Metal Gear Solid 1, with the Japanese release instead saying a game by Hideo Kojima. Another change made overseas was to Psycho Mantis's memory card reading section. In one of the game's most well-known sequences, Mantis will scan the player's memory card with his psychic powers and then say different lines of dialogue depending on what games are saved. In the Japanese version though, many games that could be detected were Japanese these exclusives, meaning that they had to be replaced overseas. For instance, one of these games was Police Knots, an earlier game by Hideo Kojima in the visual novel genre. This and all other Japanese only games were replaced with Konami games that actually were released overseas, such as Vandal Hearts and Castlevania. This also meant that Western players missed out on a special Easter egg starring none other than Hideo Kojima himself. In the Japanese version, if players had saved data from both Police Knots and Snatcher, which is another one of Kojima's earlier games, Mantis will say, So you like Kojima games, and then Kojima his actual voice will pop out of nowhere and say thank you for your support.
One of the more unusual changes to the English game affects Johnny, the guard who Meryl knocks unconscious and steals her uniform from early on in the game. The overseas versions will show Johnny with a blur effect covering his private areas. In the original Japanese release, Johnny actually wears boxer shorts instead. It's not known why this change was made, but it's easy to speculate that this was simply Hideo changing his mind and thinking that the blur effect would work better. Interestingly though, the later Japanese re-release of Metal Gear Solid, which included most other Western changes, for some reason decided to go back and add the boxer shorts back in. This release of the game was called Metal Gear Solid Integral and as well as including the western changes and additions, also added a whole bunch of other new content to the game. However, that's still not all for the English changes. Despite its overall popularity with fans, the localization of the original Metal Gear Solid also has its controversial side. Metal Gear Solid was translated and localized by Jeremy Blaustein, who's worked on a wide range of other titles including Silent Hill 2-4, Castlevania Symphony of the Night and Shadowhearts Covenant. Despite Previously working for Hideo on 1994's Sega CD version of Snatcher, Blaustein upset Hideo with his overly liberal translation. Blaustein has argued that a few changes and tweaks were necessary for bringing Hideo's script to an English audience and have it sound natural. When Hideo discovered that changes were being made without his consent though, he not only didn't ever hire Blaustein again, but also clamped down on the translation of the sequel Metal Gear Solid 2 and tried to ensure that the localizer would keep the script as close to the Japanese version as possible. This also led to Metal Gear Solid 1 being re translated when it was remade for the GameCube in 2004, a process that required the English voice actors to come back and record all of their lines again. Not all of Blaustein's changes were unwanted though. Mei Ling's proverbs, which he quotes whenever you save the game, were all Chinese proverbs in the Japanese version of the game. Mei Ling would say the original proverb in phonetic Chinese and then repeat the same proverb in Japanese, essentially meaning she said the same thing twice. Due to the difficulty in translating this, Blaustein expanded Mei Ling's quotes to include western-based proverbs proverbs and literature as well, a change that Hideo would later agree was necessary. Some other changes however were much less appreciated. Revolver Ocelot's popular Silver Bullets line for example, which is now infamous amongst fans for its seemingly innuendo-like nature. I love to reload during a battle. There's nothing like the feeling of slamming a long silver bullet into a well-greased chamber. This line was actually invented completely by Blaustein himself, as were some other lines during this battle. This is also the reason why the line was removed from the retranslated GameCube version. Some of Blaustein's changes would also subtly affect plot points, something that Hideo was likely to be particularly bothered about. During Psycho Mantis's death scene, for example, Mantis's last words weren't it feels kind of nice in the Japanese version. Instead, they were it feels very nostalgic. This is because Hideo intended his final words to be a reference to his mother, who died during giving birth to him. Again, this line was removed for the GameCube release and a precise translation was added. There is also one other interesting point about the English releases and this revolves around the torture scene with Snake and Ocelot. In the Japanese version of the game, Ocelot would speak about the French when talking about his use of electricity for torture. These lines were voice recorded in English and included in the US version's files, but for whatever reason, somebody decided to leave the voice files on the disc unused and created another one with the dialogue altered. The original lines originally had Ocelot say, if it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. And then, did you know that it was the French who first thought of using electric shocks as a means of torture? Snake would then reply, I've seen a lot of French films, but I've never heard that before. However, here's how the dialogue plays out in the US version. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. But I never heard that before. You're a tough guy, Snake. As you heard, the US release removed the dialogue about the French, but this now makes Snake's comments seem rather out of place. Due to this, the later European version would remove all of Snake's lines so that the alteration doesn't stand out so much. Interestingly, the GameCube release would do away with this change completely and would include the French lines in the English versions as well. If it's just for a short time, it won't kill you. Did you know that it was the French who first thought of using electrical shocks as a means of torture? Hey. French films are alright, but I don't care about that crap. Mm, you're a tough guy, Snake. But that's all we have time for for today. Let us know what you think about these changes in the comments below and please consider subscribing if videos on regional differences like these are something you are interested in. Until next time, thank you for watching.